it is my job to have high concept ideas and I know the effect it has on a publisher when you have one and I do think it's really difficult um, to kind of get yourself in the situation where you're receptive to an idea but you're not under pressure to have one and therefore having like I sometimes if I haven't had an idea and I really really need to have one I get to that weird state of mind where you're like what about a I don't know like a, a plague or you know what about somebody that follows someone into prison and oh just mental ideas um <laughs> so now I do try and be sort of at actively receptive and I try not to let the reading and the telly watching drop in the year while I'm writing and I do now keep a list on my phone of little kernels of ideas um yeah. and also of characters now because I found character quite hard recently I think because I've written seven books um I've sort of used up the grumpy old man character and the like you know the sort of plucky lawyer and I, I find <laughs> I've I, I now I'm having to mine a bit deeper. So I do keep an ongoing list, which does help. Um, but I recently, I just handed in a book that has very much excited my agent and publisher because it has a time a, a time loop element. Um, and I, I, it's by far the best idea of my career. Um, and so I felt very under pressure to have a, a good idea, but also quite a mainstream idea for the next one. And I think your mind does just do it if you're kind of, you need to sift and not just go for the first idea because you're panicked. But I do think if you really need to have one, you sort of will. 